Guys, it is Kieran Sandhammer, and I'm excited because it's another episode of Death School. And I've got my Death Wizard here, and guess what I'm doing? I am making treasure cards. Check it out. So, um, I'm discarding my Ghoul, I'm discarding my Banshee, and I'm drawing, check it out, I'm drawing a Monstrous. And so what I'm doing, I'm just applying this Monstrous to my Banshee. Now, she is a treasure card. Isn't that awesome? So, unless there's another way to do this... This is one of the only ways, this is the only way I can think of to do it, is you actually get yourself in a fight. Um, don't really need the ice armor or the major fire. Okay, looks like somebody's going to get in my fight now. So, hey, I'm doing good. Hi. Ooh, very good. And so, let's see, I'm going to draw a couple of more of those. And I'm going to pass, because I'm not in, I'm not really, don't have any. Ah. Yeah, thanks. Packs, ah, packs are cool. Okay, let's see here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do another ghoul. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and do another... Hmm. I thought that would do more to the ghoul. Um, we're going to do another banshee. Look at how much that does for the banshee, okay? And then we're going to draw another one, and we're going to do another goal. So what we're doing is we're doing some custom, um, we're doing some custom treasure cards that are death. And I got this new strategy I'm going to try out in my next match. I'm super excited to go there because I think it might be the winning strategy to go with. Okay, and that is going to be use some of my low end treasure cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another fight. Let's well, actually let's take a look at our treasure cards. So now when we look at our treasure cards, we should have. Let's see here. Mm, da, 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 da. There we go. We should have, well, I guess those ghouls didn't turn into treasure cards. The banshees did. Okay, so the banshees turned into treasure cards. Hmm. I guess you can't do that to ghouls. Interesting. Interesting. So I can I can do that to my banshees, but I can't do that to my to my ghoul, to my to my ghouls. That's interesting. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, why not? It doesn't matter to me. Let's try to let's try to get another one really quick and figure this out. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm just drawing in all the all the new players. Okay, I'm gonna do this for a little bit and see if I can't get a few more of these to turn in. Um a few more of these to turn into a um let's see here. Like that. Now, okay, so I'll, I'm going to do this for a little bit, and I'll be back to see you guys here when we go ahead and do our first match today. Hey, guys, so here we go. We are our first fight of the day, and we've got our new treasure cards all loaded up. We're going to see how well we can handle this guy. I think we can take him. Aaron, the apprentice pyromancer. Okay, this will, this will be good. I bet you his strategy goes have something to do with fire elves. It usually does. Okay, usually does. Fantastic. We're going to ditch that. We're going to ditch that. We're going to go ahead and draw a couple of things that are going to be super useful and helpful to us here. Okay, he's already thrown the shields up. Already thrown the shields up. That's okay. We can do the same thing. You know, definitely a good shot to go ahead and do that right away. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to, um, yeah, we're going to keep doing shields here for a little bit. So let's go ahead and draw another one. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, so you want to get my shield. That's fine. I understand that. We'll just put another one up. Ha <laughs> ha. We're going to take him down. Very, very good. Okay, so what we want to do is, let's see here. He has 967 points of health. So what we want to do is we're going to keep working him down. We're going to keep working it down here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see here. I should be good. Let's see what he does. Now, what I want to do is, uh, he's going to keep doing that. I don't know if, if, if he so wants to keep doing that, you know, because I can keep throwing him up there, um, you know like throw up a volcanic shield very good take that more shields because i'm yeah he's probably gonna hit me with a fire elf fire fire spell i would think you know Ooh, i've got i've got an ice armor that ice armor would actually be pretty good 
I might just go ahead and do that. You know, and that will give me quite a few hits to sustain. Oh, that would probably bug him. 175 each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that. Let's go ahead and try the ice armor. Um, the ice armor. Because that is going to not work for me. Okay, guys. So we have to get serious about this now. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Yeah, so we got another we got another shield we can throw in. Let's see. Let's see what he does. He has four pips. Let's see what type of hit he goes in for, because I think that's probably what he's gonna do. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and throw that tower shield up. Ah, we've gone through quite a few tower shields in this one. I, I need to hit him, but I need to get that out of the way. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here it comes. And it looks like he's going to try to get rid of my shield again. Boy, he likes to do that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab back some of that health. Mmm, I think he might be going for a high pip spell because he's holding up those pips quite, quite well there. Well, let's go ahead and get the health back that he's taken from me. Or some of it, right? It's actually 35 of it. Let's see here. Is he going to waste his time on a shield? Let's see what he's going to do. Because that's not going to work. Do I have another shield in there? I do. Okay, so we got we got to make a decision here. We've got we've got some damn. We can take away easily half his health. So we'll see. What's he going to do? Because I'm thinking what I start need, what I need to start doing early in the game is I need to start throwing some more punches. You know, and I have to find ways to get around his shields. Yes, he's using a high level spell. And is that going to kill me? No, it's not. <laughs> but it just about did. Okay. Well, let's see here. Um, my goodness, that is that is brutal there. That is brutal. Well, let's go ahead and throw a shield back up. He was hoping for a one-shot hit. That's what he was hoping for. But he didn't didn't get it. Um, we're gonna take some damage on here, hopefully. Let's see here and Hmm, nice. He does fizzle sometimes. That's good to know. Okay, I don't have a really big hit, so let's just hit him with the Banshee. That will do half his health. Nice, okay. So hopefully that scares him a little bit. Uh-huh, let's see here. Yep, I have him out of shields, okay? So I've gotta come somehow pull this off. So let's see what we're gonna get here. Hmm. It's, it all depends on what his shot is. If he has something that's going to do 41 damage, yeah, he probably does. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Okay. Oh, he throws a shield up. Okay. That's fine. That's fine by me. Let's go ahead and um, get rid of the shield. We'll go ahead and send our dark elf in there. I'm sorry, my dark, dark fairy. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Shield gone. What is his strategy? Because... I bet she's thinking that I still have a big, I still have a hit coming in. Okay, it's gonna be close. Well fought game, you know. Now, if he has the right hit though, he's gonna kill me, so. Ooh, can that fire elf finish me off? Yeah, it's gonna finish me off. So close, so close. Okay, not a problem. We can still, we can still do this, okay guys? So, let's go ahead and set and get ready and let's get our deck ready for another fight. Here we go, guys. We have another event, and it looks like, ooh, a necromancer. Ooh, death to death. Well, this could be interesting. I loaded some different cards up in my deck, so let's see how this goes. Okay, Stinky Oliver. That's his pet, and I'm fighting against Matthew. Ooh, okay, I need to prep myself well for this. Okay, let's go ahead and get a tower shield up right away. Okay, wow, he starts off with three pips. Okay, that's kind of cheeky. Yeah. Hmm. Well, okay. I already know where I'm going to go with this. So, let's see what he's going to do. Okay, he's going to do a strike right away to get rid of my shield. Totally, totally expected. Totally understand. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and draw another... Um, Another card. Let's draw another card. Ooh, and um, let's go ahead and draw another card. Obviously, you see what I have in my... No, no, no. Draw another card. There we go. A shield. I want a shield. There we nice, nice, nice. Because 
He's saving up hips, so I want to. I need that up for me for me to defend against. Okay, very very good. Alrighty. So I guess you're kind of seeing what I might have planned here in my deck here. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna start throwing some birds at this guy. What's he gonna do? Ooh. He's gonna scare me. That's not a problem at all. Let's go ahead and see how much damage we can start doing on this guy. First off, let's go ahead and do Snowbird. Okay. Now the nice thing is I am wearing my um, my my um, ice amulet, so I can only, so I only need two pips to launch this ice spell at him. What? He must have major resist going on because that was that was that was, should have been a much stronger spell. That's that's kind of not. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is going to be a tough fight, guys. So we're going to have to see where it takes us. Where it takes us. Not a problem. We can handle him. We can totally handle him. Okay? He's a few levels higher than me, but we can do this. But he's got some major resist going on. Where do you get all that resist from? That's kind of... Oh, that's that's um, that's um tough. No resist. I don't know. I, you know. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Some of these fights are going to be tough. You know, and I, I get that. Okay. Matthew the private, you know, what? it's probably his pet, I bet, I bet you it's his pet that's giving him all the resist. Do I got, it? nope, no more, no more spell cards. I guess I'm just going to start throwing hits at him, and we're just going to start hitting at him left and right, and seeing how quickly we can mark him down each time. But yeah, I wasn't expecting him to have a high ice resist. That kind of like blew my plan out of the water, you know. Okay, well, no worries, no worries, we're going to keep fighting to the end. Yep, and we need to get, get rid of that anyways. But man, that bird should have done a whole lot more damage. Okay. No worries there. Okay, so let's, um, yeah, we got a major fireball. Yep, we'll just wait. We'll wait. It's okay because I got plenty of snowbirds. But man, that was disappointing. That was disappointing. I can't, can't tell you much. You have, a, you have a card that should do 400 and it does 200. I mean, it's like, ugh. Okay, let's keep it going. Yeah, you know, he's, and if he keeps playing the shields up, that's going to make it tough. But I, I can't allow that. I can't allow that. I mean, I guess I could try a Banshee and see how well a Banshee might affect him. You know, but I gotta keep a, I gotta keep my shield up at two for one more. See, look, he's gonna do a major, major blow here pretty quick. So let's, let's just be ready for it. Okay, here it comes. Okay, yeah. So he, he went with the Bone Dragon. He went with the Bone Dragon, and I think I could have been in this fight without his resist. So his resist really, and I'm not sure where it came from, you know, it's it's kind of hard because you don't really get to see their stats or anything. Yep, yeah, I'm sorry. Can't, you can't, can't check their stats out. So, hmm, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, you know, is he has, has had a major resist going on with that. And I'm going to take a few more shots at him. You know, we're going to, yeah, boy, that's hard. That is hard to beat when you have a major spell like that that you can throw out. And when you have a resist, those birds should have done a whole lot more. I thought that was a good strategy, but I mean, he knocks, he destroys, he, you know, he has like a, at least a 30% resist on those. Hmm. Well, guys, I would love for suggestions on how to deal with big resists because that's, dang it. That was just, that was just a bad draw on me, on him. Yeah. I mean, yep, yeah, there he goes. Okay. Good fight. Good fight. We're going to come back and we're going to, we're going to get, we're going to win some of these here, guys. And not just weak parents. We're going to figure out how to do this. So, um, hmm. Okay, back to the drawing board. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, let's see here. Round number three. Let's see how well we can do. I went ahead and adjusted my adjustment. Looks like I might have a Storm character I'm playing against. A Princeton's Diviner. Okay, Orin Storm Wielder. Let's have a good match here. Okay. So, let's see here. What are we going to do first? Woo, we got first shot. Should we go ahead and... Um, Let's keep a few of those out. Let's go ahead and draw both of those in. And let's get a tower shield up and ready. So I've got my ice strategy going again here. So um, I do have some some hits I can I can deal to or in a wielder. I wonder what type of resist he has, because that was part of the challenge that we had last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep drawing out some drawing out some cards. That way I have some um, options. So I got some tower shields ready to go. I've got my snowbird ready to go. And we're going to start hitting him right away. Try to put him in a defensive position. Yeah, because he's going to try to keep me focused on um, getting hit by damage. So he might try a bolt. But let's go ahead and hit him with a snowbird and see how that makes him feel. You know, because it, it could. 
Okay. Well, um, next round, what we'll do is we'll try to hit him with a snowbird and see how that makes him feel. Or we might go with we might go a different direction. We might go a little defensive here for about for a moment. Okay. Let's see what happens. Good. Good. I got some. I got some offense. Very good. Okay. What you're gonna do, Orn? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So he is um, healing himself. That's an interesting strategy. Interesting strategy, Orn. Very nice. Okay. I say ice armor. Should we do ice armor? I mean, we can go ahead and do quite. Nah, let's go ahead and hit him. Because he just knocked his pips down to three. And I can do um, 600 here in two hits if I can get both of these. Okay, go, go, Snowbird. Let's see, how well can the Snowbird do? Hmm, he has a pretty good resist against the snow. Okay, well, that's not a problem. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't super terrible. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, this could be, this could be good. Let's go ahead and throw up some... We, yeah, let's throw up some ice armors. What's he going to do? Okay. Um, hit or ice armor? Hit or ice armor? Let's go ahead and do some ice armor. And that's going to give us um, two, one, two, three, four, four, almost 700 points in, in damage control. So that's going to be a good thing for us. Um, in the meantime, let's draw another card up and let's go ahead and we'll have a tower shield ready to put up. And so even if he comes in with a big swing and hit, Oh, that's, that's cruelty right there. That's absolutely cruelty right there. That's kind of wrong. Um, boy, but man, he got rid of, he got rid of a lot of pips worth of armor. That was, that was easily six, 700 points of armor there. Okay. Well, that's okay. We can, we can take him down. We can take him down. Let's, do we have any more? Okay. Well, we got some big hits here. So let's see what we can do. Hmm. What's he going to do? Yeah. Okay. So. Again, he's going to go for that. I'm, I need to. I think my strategy needs to be be able to keep throwing up these tower shields at least until until I out of them, because what he's going to is he's going to swing or something really hard. I need something to absorb half that damage. Okay, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? The good news is I can throw a blue phoenix at him here pretty quick, and that might be the ticket. That might be the ticket. Okay, yeah. So he's going to try to strike it out away because I think well that's what he wants to do is he wants to hit me. But he, does, but he knows he's not going to kill me with one hit as long as I got a shield up. So, um, yes, let's tower shield up again. Because as soon as I give him a chance to hit me with the full strength hit, I might be over with. Okay, what's he got? What's he got? What's he, what's he got, Orn? Because um, I'm going to definitely Blue Phoenix you here this next round, especially with that power pip. That power pip helps. But boy, Orn has two, four, six, seven pips. Yeah, I think he's going to hit me pretty hard with something here this next round. So let's see what he does. And um, Storm, gosh, even his basic Storm spells would be pretty deadly to me right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Okay, well, I'm just going to have to go hard and heavy. I don't, think I'll, I don't think I'll kill him, but at least I'm going to go ahead and hurt him. Now, hopefully I have enough health to... T Man, I mean, the fizzle thing is just, is just wrong on so many levels. Okay, well... Here we go. I guess we're going to see what his end game is now because he's got all the pips in the world. What is he going to do? You know, because there's not a whole lot I can do with this. With this, I don't have any more cards I can draw out. Okay. Yep. Yeah. There we go. So he has a. Ew. Well, didn't didn't finish me off. Let's go ahead and blue phoenix him. Let's see if that's going to help out. The tough part is, as I don't have a heal to keep me in the game. And that just stab off because he probably has another big hit ready to go. The tough part is, is he has enough resist to keep that from, from going on there. Okay. Well, geez. We're not done yet, though. We're still in the... Okay, and this fish has a card. This fish has a shark. Oh, well, and there we go. We just, we just missed it. Okay, well... Let's go ahead and let's try to, let's do one more. And I'm going to go ahead and look at my cards and come up with another strategy and see if I can not find come up with something that's going to do me a little bit better. Here we go, guys. Another match. And let's see how well we can do against, ooh, another Necromancer. Okay. Well, I threw some more cards in the deck and we got some other options. So we're going to see how well we can do against this guy. Man, he's a pro too. He's a sergeant. Okay. So that means he's been making some wins. That's okay. That's okay. Let's go ahead and draw in some cards. 
Very nice. Okay. Already ready to go. Now, I don't know why we just don't pick at the same time and we just don't cast out at the same time. I mean, you know, like we do in a regular fight. I wonder why they changed that. Um, I remember somebody complaining about that on a PvP, um, on a PvP I saw once. Okay, so he's probably going to go zap me and get rid of my, yeah, get rid of my thing, which is totally understandable. Totally understandable. Okay, if I can keep him busy doing that, see, how's he getting, how's he have double the pips? He just got two pips. My goodness, how's he, how's he double my pips? You know, I, I gotta figure out where, what's this other gear you can get? You know, I mean, obviously can earn some, earn stuff doing that, but how, how, what's this other gear you can get that's gonna give you such an advantage so early on? Oh, okay, so that's okay, because we're gonna keep fighting, right? We're gonna keep fighting. Alrighty, Brandon, we, we can, we can, we can take you on, although you have an obvious gear advantage on me. We're gonna keep fighting you. Hmm, very good. Yep, so he threw up his shield as well. So, let's go ahead and show him some anti-shield magic real quick. Ah, uh, yes. Good thing I got the power pip. The power pip is almost even me up in pips now. But I'm still behind. I'm still trying to figure out why he had, how he got the extra, how he got the extra thing. Because that's, that's, wow. You know, I mean, how are these opponents getting more pips than I do? And I've even got I've even got a wand that gives me an extra pip, so I'm, I'm not standing behind. I'm not really behind them. Okay. Wow, I've got a real opportunity here as long as I don't fizzle. Let's see what happens, guys. Let's see what happens, because he's probably going to throw a bit, pretty big hit at me, too. Okay. Now, here's crossing our fingers. We've just dealt with a couple guys with lots of big resist. Alrighty. So let's see. Go, go, Ice Elephant, or whatever we're calling it today. Nice, nice. 540. Okay. So, yeah, he's, um, how are these guys rocking so many great resists? That is, um, definitely, definitely a challenge. Okay. It looks like I am dealing with, ooh, this could possibly finish the fight. Let's see how well it goes. I drew my hand. He drew his hand. He has the better card, definitely. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, there we go. Another, another loss because of you know of treasure cards so i've got to figure out a better way to get treasure cards because i am not i'm just not having the treasure cards unfortunately that's 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 it okay guys well if you guys got some more hints because i mean it, you know how do how do how do you deal with that type of resist how do you deal with the fact that they're still getting more pips than i do even though i've upgraded my my um stuff and i again extra pip how do you deal with the fact how do you deal? And, and these guys are my level. That guy had the same health as I do. So he has to be right there and about the same level as I am. So I've got lots of questions, guys. If you can help me out. Oh, I, I'm working on this death school and I'm going to I'm going to start winning more fights. But boy, it's getting pretty tough. So any advice? Um, I definitely I gotta I gotta do some upgrades to my pet, you know, and I've gotta figure out where to go next, okay? So this is Kimmy Say. Thank you so much, guys. Kieran's Shadow Hammer in the death school trying to figure out this PvP stuff. But Boy, this was a rough day, guys. Rough day. See you next time. Bye-bye.